what's good? I hope you're all doing lovely. I just wanted to tell you a quick story about the most stressful time I've ever had while meditating. So the other day, I was talking to my boyfriend and I said, hey, I'll be right back. Um, I, I was like venting about some things and so I was like, I'll be right back. I need to, um, you know, do a meditation to calm myself down. And wow, what a mistake that was. So at the level of stress that I was at, um, the meditation apps that I had already had downloaded, I felt like that was not gonna be enough. That was not gonna do it for me. So I literally had to go look for a better app than the ones that I already had, because I really needed to calm down. I needed to relax, relax, okay? So I found this one app that was different than all the others, or at least it seemed like it was. So naturally I was like, okay, so it's better. It'll help me relax more or whatever. And so you had to pay for it, but they had a free trial for seven days. And of course I'm broke, I don't have money. So I was like, I'll just relax as much as I freaking can for seven days or before seven days so I can just cancel the trial and I'll be good, right? And so right off the bat, I open the app and I start the first meditation and I am stressed. I am ready to just relax. And I'm, I got my headphones on, I'm in like a good spot where I can just calm down. And I cannot stress this enough. Well, I, I can stress this enough because I was stressing a lot after this. The very first meditation that I did and the only meditation that I did because wow, this was an experience that I did not like. <laughs> I recorded it and I'm going to play it for you and walk you through how awful this was because I was anything but relaxed. It was putting me in the worst possible situation and just saying, hey, what if you weren't in this situation? How about that? What do you think of that? Because you're not in this situation. Doesn't that make you feel so much better? And I was like, no. So let's jump right into it, shall we? I'm holding a quill over a blank page. I'm about to write your story. Who am I? Now is not the time for me to tell you. But yet, someday, you'll know more. Can you hear those voices? Okay, stop. Hold up. <laughs> We're starting off real strong here. I have now just been told that some lady is writing my story, and I cannot question her identity because she said, Got any questions? Too bad. Do you hear those voices? The words are unclear. Concentrate. Close your eyes so you can hear them better. No, we can't send a human. I don't agree. Why not? To complete this journey, a human would need much more stamina than it usually has. Humans don't have energy for anything these days. They can barely get out of bed in the morning, and by the end of the day, they're completely exhausted. All right, what if they tried sleeping more? Getting more rest? Personally attacked, but all right. It wouldn't change much. They'd get less tired physically, but they'd still be mentally exhausted. What do you mean by mentally? Well, humans like to obsess over things. When you think about something for too long, like a problem you can't solve, it drains your energy. It can be just as exhausting as physical movement. So what can they do about it? Well, one thing that helps is redirecting one's attention to something that gives energy instead of draining it. It's not a very common skill among humans. Okay, rude, but go on. Look, this human has come a long way full of challenges to get here. That's already worth a lot. I think we should give this human a chance. All right, let's begin. Where are you anyway? Ah, there you are. You're floating and rocking slowly from side to side. It's completely dark. You can't see anything, so focus on your other senses. Try to move your arms and legs. Yes, like that. Do you feel any resistance? It seems like you're underwater. You're completely submerged. Don't worry, you can breathe here. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Water starts trickling into your nose, down your windpipe, right into your lungs. It burns a little, but you'll get used to breathing underwater. New things always feel uncomfortable at first. Give yourself some time. Is the water warm or cool? It burns! Tiny bubbles come out of your mouth and nose as the water fills your lungs. Did you hear that? It sounded like an explosion. Suddenly the water starts flowing, as if a dam broke somewhere. The current is getting stronger. The water is churning and bubbling and pulling you in different directions. It's like being inside a giant washing machine. You're completely disoriented. Your heart is racing. The water is swirling around a massive black hole. It's the darkest thing you've ever seen. You're getting sucked right into it. You're falling down at an increasing speed. It feels like you're about to get thrown onto sharp rocks. Wow, I'm so relaxed. Ow, something hits you hard, just as you expected. It knocks the wind out of you. Your vision goes black for a second. What's that taste in your mouth? Is the water salty or not? I guess this is how I die. You're getting dizzy. The whirlpool keeps pulling you deeper and deeper. Doesn't it feel just like being overwhelmed by work or everyday tasks? No, no, not even close. This feels like I'm actually dying. They take every last bit of energy from you, just like this whirlpool. Your body is flooded with adrenaline. Your heart is beating fast. It seems like you can get out of the whirlpool if you summon all your strength. You're trying to swim up as fast as you can. Feels like every muscle in your body is working, but it's hard. The current is too strong. You're getting tired, but you're not giving up just yet. 
Your muscles are all warmed up. There's a burning pain in your chest. Your back and your abs are extremely tense. Your breath is getting choppy. How much longer can you keep this up? You need to remove yourself from the situation where you have to waste so much energy. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Surrender to the current. Stop fighting it. After that immense struggle, your body finally relaxes. Your limbs float in the water. Your spine straightens. Can I get a replay on that spine straightening sound again, please? Your spine straightens. You feel a little lightheaded. The current is getting stronger, but that doesn't scare you anymore. You're actually curious to see where it takes you. Um, no the hell I'm not, because I know where it takes me, onto some sharp rocks where I almost died. And this is one of those situations where you would just go, oh, that was a bad situation. I'm not going to put myself through that again. I don't have to put myself through that again. Not, oh, that was a bad situation. I'll just get over it next time. You want to know what's at the bottom of the whirlpool. As soon as you stop struggling, your internal batteries begin to recharge. The tension goes away. Your muscles relax. You've gotten out of the situation that was depleting you. Well done. With a loud bang, you shoot out of the world. What's around you? Just dark blue water as far as the eye can see. Is the surface visible from here? Is it 500, maybe 600 meters away? Can you see any sunlight from here? Or is it completely dark? Great, so you're telling me that I'm not only underwater, but I'm in the middle of the ocean, and land is nowhere to be seen, and it's up to me to decide if it's light or dark out. But I didn't even consider it to be dark out until you asked me if it was dark out. So now, naturally, I'm in the middle of the ocean and it's completely dark out. How do you feel? Peaceful. Are you for real right now? Serene. Your body is virtually weightless. Try to move your arms and legs a little. You took a moment to relax and recover. And boy, do I regret it. Now you need to find a new source of energy so you can swim up to the surface. Look, there's some kind of wall in front of you. Touch it. What does it feel like? Stone, maybe? You notice it's moving slowly, almost as if it's breathing. It must be the skin of a live creature. Okay, so in this scenario, any normal person would go, oh, that's a whale, right? Because we're underwater. Duh. These people didn't consider how many horror games I've played and running into a wall that's breathing and could possibly be a living creature is something that I need to worry about. Is it smooth or bumpy? Could these bumps be barnacles? Something lightly brushes your shoulder. A dozen of cleaner fish swims past you. Suddenly, a giant eye opens right in front of you. It's huge. Maybe the size of your palm? Or twice as big? It's glowing in the dark. You're so close you can see the tiny blood vessels in the eye. It's staring at you with curiosity. Um... Hello? You hear a deep, loud, low sound. It makes your whole body vibrate. Your heart is beating fast. The sound is lingering and almost melodious. Look, he's moving his fins and sending huge waves in every direction. Jesus Christ! It's like watching a large cargo plane take off. He's swimming away. Quick, grab onto one of its fins. You're not getting away that easy, whale. Hold tight. You're being dragged through the water at a dizzying speed. The water is pressing hard against you from all angles. The fin goes up and down as you're trying to hold onto it. What a thrilling ride. It's like being on a roller coaster. When you're fully immersed in an activity you enjoy, you're not wasting energy. You're actually replenishing it. You've never felt so alive and free. On the contrary, I feel chained down to demons that I didn't even know I had. Right now, you know you could take on the world. Seems like you've accumulated enough energy to swim by yourself. The whale pushes you out of the water with a loud splash. You shoot up into the air. How high? Five or maybe even seven meters above the surface? It smells like fresh sea breeze. There's a salty taste on your lips. I thought that was blood. Yeah, no, that's still blood. You feel the warmth of the sun on your skin. Take a mental picture at this moment. The feeling of flying is something you can use to restore your energy. Even thinking about it can help. Suddenly, everything turns upside down. For a moment, you can't tell where the sky is or where the ocean is. You're tumbling towards the water and it makes you a little dizzy. With another loud splash, you plunge into the water. So basically, that's it. That goes on for another two minutes. And all it tells you is that if you got through that, you can get through anything. And I have never been more upset by a meditation in my entire life. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk.